Well, the House passed a compromise funding measure with bipartisan support, bringing Washington one step closer to preventing a government shutdown, voting 335 to 91 on a deal that would keep the government funded for another 45 days, postponing the risk of a shutdown until mid-November. The bill now heads to the Senate. Here's ABC's M. Nguyen with the details. With the clock ticking towards tonight's midnight deadline, Republicans and Democrats passing a 45-day stopgap spending bill to avert a government shutdown. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Just one House Democrat voted against the measure, while 90 Republicans opposed Speaker McCarthy's bipartisan solution. Seven lawmakers missed the vote. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy bringing the 45-day stopgap spending bill to the floor under suspension of the rules, a gamble because it required two-thirds majority for passage. Would I have wanted the bill we put on the floor yesterday that would secure our border, cut wasteful spending? Yes, I did. But I had some members in our own conference that wouldn't vote for that. Democrats successfully delaying the vote with a procedural motion before House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries delivered what's called a magic minute floor speech, essentially untimed remarks. And so strap in because this may take a little while. Though he ultimately spoke for less than an hour before debate continued and the House voted. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. McCarthy has been facing opposition from within his own party. Right now, our plan is to continue to build support for our single subject spending bills. And this 45 day CR is not does not liberate us from our nation's financial challenges. Without this deal, the government would have essentially shut down at midnight Sunday. 3.5 million federal workers would have gone unpaid, including 2 million members of the military. Nearly 56,000 TSA agents and 20,000 Border Patrol officers would still have been required to report to work, but would not have been paid. And up to 7 million mothers and children would have potentially lost access to critical nutrition assistance. And when ABC News, Washington. The bill is on its way to the Senate, which had been working on its own bipartisan bill to keep the government open. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says Senate Republicans will focus on the bill from the House.